things that make top designers job to stand out from others is their interpretation of the pattern on the fabric they look at a fabric study the pattern and decide how best to place the the pattern so that it will come out really nice and professional for example look at this fabric now you can't afford to turn this fabric upside down if anybody will see that this this particular fabric is supposed to be placed this way it's supposed to be placed this way it shouldn't be placed this way nor should it be turned upside down no you can see it, it looks like um, it, it, it's like a, a tree you know with with branches that branches off a tree cannot be upside down it has to be this way so these are some of the things that they study they will study the design on the fabric and now decide that oh okay this is looking this way let's place it this way it's going to give us best result and then when you are placing it it ha you, you have to find a way to centralize something like this it has to be centralized unlike fabrics of this nature this type of fabrics you don't need to worry your head you can just cut it anyhow and it goes it's just flower you can cut it anyhow you can fold it to whatever side and you cut it and it comes out wow now another one is a striped fabric like this this one is trickish i will come to this later this is another fabric that you don't need to worry yourself about you don't really need to worry yourself about this i mean it's, it's, it's scattered the design is scattered this is another one too but you see these ones that have pattern okay this is another one that you need to be careful about this one is a bit deceptive if you don't take a very good look at it you might think that the circle is just a circle yeah it's a circle it's a circular design but inside that circular design is a tree looks like a tree yeah it's a tree or um it's a, a yeah it now goes off so even though you centralize this you can't afford to turn this upside down a tree does not grow from heaven down it grows from the earth up so it has to be this way this is another one this this one is a block this is a circle in folding this when you want to fold this to cut you need to really centralize this circle make sure the center of whatever you're cutting is in the center of the circle as well unless you have a design what you want to do something else and whatever it is you want to do that is outside of centralizing it let it be very very pronounced so that people will understand that okay this is a design this is how this person this designer intends to design this else it's going to look highly unprofessional all right so this is another pattern that you don't need to bother your head about it, it can go anywhere you can you can fold it anyhow to cut it okay so that brings me to stripe fabric when it comes to stripe fabrics top designers are intentional about the way they fold them you can't just cut your stripe fabric anyhow no i've seen fabrics uh, stripe fabrics that one side of it is lying horizontally the other side is lying vertically and i'm like wow what's going on here i mean it's like it's like a, a house of commotion in this video today i'm going to show you three ways that you can cut a stripe fabric when it comes to fabrics with lines or stripe fabrics or something like this and you want to cut flare with them 
you cannot afford to cut it just anyhow you cannot fold it anyhow you have to be intentional with the way you fold it your folding will determine the outcome welcome to my channel and thank you for joining if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do so now and also turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each time we upload a new video. The first method I'm going to show you is the diagonal method. The diagonal method, like the name implies, is when you pick up the fabric, Fold it straight up into a triangle. This way. I'm going to work with the waist measurement of 26. Now the radius for my waist measurement is 8. So this is 8. 8. So and I connect. If you check it. Seven times four is twenty-eight. It's going to be twenty-eight because of sewing allowance. Remember, I said I'm working with the waist measurement of twenty-six. But here we have twenty-eight because of sewing allowance. Okay, so I'll cut out. The diagonal way of cutting the flare. You always have your flare in two pieces. What makes it diagonal? The lines are slanted. Okay, so we have one side of our flare. The next is the back side. the other side you must have to make sure that they align so that when you join it the gold will go to the gold while the wine will go to the wine just like I'm doing now all right so this space here is the zip allowance. Make sure everything is properly arranged before you cut.
All right, so this is the deep allowance. Um, should I cut it open now? Okay. Um, okay, let me cut it open. All right. So now let's join our flare and see how it will look. All right. So after sewing it, this is what you will have. You see that the lands are slanted. They are slanted. You see the side too. Side. The next method is the vertical method. The vertical method. I am still working with waist 26. And I am still cutting half flare, half circle. That is 180 degree flare. Alright, so. I have this. This is not a standard measurement, please. This is just what I'm using to work with. So I have, I'm going to be working with 18 by 18. 18 by 18. So that means this way is 18 and this way is 18. Okay. So, this is what we have. We fold it first this way. And the next thing, you bring the other end and form a triangle. Triangle also. I'm still working with waist 26. You see that the lines are standing in this one. This is the front of it. And then this is going to be the back. You can see that it's half of a circle. So the next thing is to bring it together. You can see the lines are aligned. The gold line is aligned to the gold line of this other side. And the line is aligned to it. Look at it. So now let's see what it will look like after sewing. Here we are, so beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful finish, beautiful finishing. So sweet. The next one is the horizontal way of folding. As in others, the next thing to do is to fold into a triangle. Look at the lines. See the line. It's the line. Okay, so let's join it and see what it will look like after sewing. Okay. 
Okay. You see? You see the effect in the fronts? See how beautiful it is? You see the joining at the back. You see the curve. Very professional. All right. So that's it on how to cut striped fabric in a professional way. I hope this video will help. When next you are cutting a striped fabric into a flare. I hope you find this very useful. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, do so now. Thank you for joining. Until I come your way next time, stay blessed. Bye.